Hi dear friends, welcome to all. I am happy to stand before you today to teach the traditional rules of debit and credit. See, please activate the CC icon on this video, then you will get the script of my lecture also. Let us see the rules of debit and credit. We already studied the modern approach. Today we are going to study the traditional approach. The modern approach is American approach, whereas the traditional approach is English approach. Dear friends, you can use either traditional approach or modern approach for generalizing transactions. Which method you are using is immaterial. It is just like using cups of different colors for drinking water from the same pot. Color of the cup is immaterial. Your thirst will get satisfied. Just like that. Whether you are using traditional approach or modern approach, which method you are using, that is immaterial. You are totally free to use any method. Result will be the same. Now, let us see the rules of debit and credit. Say, Traditional method, accounts are mainly classified into three groups, real account, personal accounts and nominal accounts. First take real accounts. Real accounts are accounts of assets or properties, both tangible and intangible. Here the rule is, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Suppose a land is purchased for the business for cash. Two affected accounts are land account and cash account. Here the both the accounts are real accounts. Land account is a real account, cash account is a real account. The rule is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Here land came into the business, therefore land is debited. And cash goes out of the business, therefore cash is credited. Journal entry is land account debtor to cash account. Then the second type of account is personal account. These are accounts of persons, both natural and artificial. Rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Suppose, for example, money deposited by the business in the bank. Two affected accounts are bank account and cash account. Bank account is a personal account. Bank account is a personal account. Rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Here bank received cash. Therefore, bank account is debited. Then the second account is cash account. Cash account is a real account. Therefore, rule of real account is applicable. Rule is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Here cash goes out of the business. Therefore, cash account is credited. And the journal entry is bank account debtor to cash account. Then the third type of account is nominal account. These are accounts of expenses or losses and incomes or gains. See, rule is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. Suppose, for example, salary paid by the business. Here the two affected accounts are salaries account and cash account. Salary is a nominal account. Rule of nominal account is debit all expenses or losses and credit all incomes or gains. Here salary is an expense, therefore salary is debited. Second is cash account. Cash account is a real account. Rule of real account is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Here cash goes out of the business, therefore cash account is credited. And therefore the journal entry is Salary is account debtor to cash account. I conclude. I hope that all of you enjoyed this presentation. 
Please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye and see you again.